Hi everyone! In our tutorial video of today we are going to show you how to balance your solid louvre with a recommended weight setup. Solid louvre is a mechanical 3-axis camera stabilizer and works with all action cameras, smartphones, compact digital cameras and 360 degree cameras up to 500 grams. Since each camera has a different weight and a different center of gravity, you need to change the weight setup for each camera. For the most popular camera models, we have made recommended weight setup so that balancing your camera on solid louvre can be done really quickly. You will find all of these in our louvre community forum, which has always been updated with new camera models and cameras with different accessories. Now we are going to guide you through the balancing process step by step. We will use a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, but we will also show you tips and tricks if you are mounting a compact camera or a smartphone. First of all, we start with mounting the camera. You need to unscrew the top ring of solid louvre and remove the cheese plate. Place the top ring over the cheese plate before mounting the camera. Put your GoPro into its adapter, which you can find in the accessory box. Then use the quarter inch screw to mount the camera to the position recommended in the setup guide. For the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, that is here on the cheese plate. Make sure to fasten the screw tightly. You can use a small weight plate to tighten the quarter inch screw. The lens needs to face the same direction as the nose of the cheese plate. It's very important to make sure that the camera sits on the adapter at a 90 degree angle and faces the right way. To position your smartphone you will find a detailed description in the setup guide. The next step is to find out if we need additional weights. You can find this in the setup guide. Additional weights can be placed in the top or bottom of solid louvre. By using the weight cone screw you can either place the weight cone or the weight cone plus the small weight ring in the top of solid louvre. For the bottom you can either use the large or the small weight ring. For this demonstration we only need to add the weight cone in the top but nothing to the bottom. We continue with positioning of the weights in the lower part of solid louvre. The weight base consists of four weight screws A to D where you can place weights. The weight screws can also be moved closer to the center axis in six different positions by pushing the screw down. For now, position each screw according to the setup guide. Also check the setup guide to see how many weights you need to place on each screw. For this example, we need 14 small weight plates for position A1, 10 small weight plates for position B1 and C1, and 8 small weight plates for position D1. It is important to know that one big weight plate is the same as 6 small weights. For example, for our weight screw A we need 14 small weight plates. Therefore, we can use 2 big weight plates plus 2 small weight plates to reach the volume of 14 small weight plates. After you fasten the thread nuts to the weight screws, you can put back the bottom cap. The next step is to mount the cheese plate with your mounted camera, aligning the cheese plate's nose in the notch of the top funnel. Then fasten the top ring. When using a smartphone, find the correct position for the smartphone in the adapter by shifting slightly left or right until solid louvre is balanced. Make sure your smartphone always sits against the back of the adapter. If you have an action camera, make sure it sits on the adapter at a 90 degree angle and is locked into place. 
Before filming, again make sure that the camera is switched on and ready to operate. This includes removing the lens cap with all batteries and memory cards in place. The adjustment ring has to be in neutral position. Now solid loops should stay like this. If not, check the camera position on the adapter, since a small difference can bring solid loop out of balance. Make sure to watch how to use solid loop before starting to film. It will show you some of the awesome features you can use and some other tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching our video. If you cannot find the weight setup online, take a look at our tutorial video for setting up a camera without a recommended weight setup.